How's it going, everyone? This is the old gaming blog here. Bring you guys Portal 2, the custom maps. And on this video, I want to talk to you guys about the new YouTube comments thing. Now, that seems to be the trend going on at the moment. And I just thought, you know what? I might as well just put my two cents on this and uh, let, you, let you guys know what I think and my honest opinion on this. Right. So, let's start at the beginning. Um few months back, uh, I, this has been going for a while now, but it's just getting a lot worse recently. Uh, the YouTube comment section has always had its issues, right? It's never been perfect, never will be. Let's just be realistic about it. You can never please everyone. You can please the, you know, majority, but not everyone. The comment section uh, has been has had issues, and it wasn't until a lot, a lot of big, bigger YouTubers started to complain that YouTube actually decided to do something about it. And the issues with it were um, a lot of it wasn't really with the comment section exactly. I mean, the comment section has always been really simple. It was with the people. And people do ruin the YouTube experience, right? The YouTube is already messed up as is, and then just people make it worse. By uh, self-advertising and spamming and just being idiots. Uh, basically, the comment section had absolutely no moderation other than you can block a person and remove a comment, but you gotta go one by one and that two... You know, again, the bigger YouTubers that have like um, hundreds of thousands of comments, uh, they can, you know, it's impossible for them to, to go through all all of them and just remove the ones that they don't want. Um, there has been a system which is people self-moderating, which is by putting the thumbs down and marking as spam, but that doesn't always work. That just means that they're going to thumbs down and mark as spam to things that they don't agree with, not exactly things that are actually spam or bad comments. Um, again, the user is to blame here. Again, uh, YouTube decided to, you know what? We're actually going to finally do something about it. And I thought to myself, wow, this is excellent. Uh, they're actually going to improve the comments. And uh, in another email that they've sent me, uh, they've also stated that um, they're going to remove video uh, replies. Uh, because the video replies, uh, the idea behind it is you make a video replying to another video and, and then you, you, know, you post it. Nine out of ten times the person that you are making video reply won't even accept it because you know it's like competition and uh, they don't want uh you know any more videos to compete with their uh, under their own and second thing is even though the videos that do are um up there the click through ratio is minimal uh, and when i say minimal i mean it, it takes about a million people a million viewers at least to have two clicks and that's just very very low so obviously that system did not work and they needed to improve it again the idea behind that was to let allow people to put comments uh, in put videos in the comments allow them to to link back which is excellent uh, there's been a lot more I'm the type of guy that comments on a lot of other people's videos I like to uh, chat up and, and whatnot and to talk to other people and you know show some of Got them appreciation for their videos and for their efforts. Um, if you help me out or if not, whatever. I like to talk to people on the comments. So I, I do comment a lot. I got something stupid like eleven or twelve thousand comments on videos, and I love commenting. I love talking. That's great. And I thought to myself, well, this is actually quite a good feature because in more than one occasion, I've been wanting to. Um, link people to videos and I couldn't I, could, I just would have to link them to uh, with you know to just just leave them with the code in the video I can't link them to the video exactly you would have to copy and paste that and all and all that or move the dots or whatever uh, those three tricky things that you got to do uh, to let people comment and that's just a hassle you know what I mean um, with uh, allowing people to to leave their, their videos in the comments that's that's a great that's a great thing or uh, again in theory what I figured almost instantly is um, if you let people put com uh, put videos on the comments, the thing that they're going to do is uh, a lot of self-advertisements. Um, they're going to just spam that crap out of the with their videos and, and check out my channel and stuff or some bullshit that I'm just so freaking sick and tired of seeing. Anyways, um, yeah. YouTube had very good ideas and a lot of potential. They seem to want to fix an area which has had some issues in the past you know, a lot, and I completely agree, and I thought it was a good, and I thought to myself, it is a good thing, you know what I mean, uh, it, it's a great thing that, that YouTube is trying to um, improve itself, improve the comment section, until they actually did it, and they fucked it up really, really, really bad, um, again, in theory, and in, the idea was excellent, 
but the execution in the practice of what they did is just stupidly terrible. Okay, so basically forcing people or separating completely the comment section from YouTube to Google Plus is just ridiculous, right? It's basically forcing people to having to subscribe to Google Plus. People that don't, don't want Google Plus or don't, don't care about it. It's not even that great anyways. They're now forced to uh, subscribe to it to be even be able to comment. You know, and that's just that's stupid. Why why would you do that? Why not okay, you know, it's great that yeah, you want to implement Google Plus with the comments with more with YouTube, that's fantastic. You can. Make it optional for people who want to have Google Plus and want don't want to have a YouTube account, that's great. For people who want to have a YouTube account but don't want to have Google Plus, that's great. Now making people have both or you know forcing them basically to have both because if you have a youtube account you upload videos if you have a google account a google plus account you have to comment or, or you know it separates I, I think that's just stupid they should not force people to have either or you know separate the two services as they should we all know google plus doesn't do as well because the competitor um fa the biggest competitor is facebook uh is just basically stole the cake and on that on that front, and I think it's great that Google is trying to compete with with more uh, with social networking and whatnot. But the way they're doing is just stupid. Again, great idea with the improvements in comments, terrible execution. Hopefully, the internet is going mad at this, and pretty much every single YouTuber and, and every single user is is going is being pissed off at this. And I think that you know they have the right to. They honestly have the right to be angry at this, and YouTube should change it. If they can listen to people enough to want to change the comments, listen to people to change it again, but this time actually good. User feedback is very, very, very important, uh, especially on a website that depends on their user base to, you know, have their revenue. You need people to put ads on YouTube for you to have money, and you need people to use those ads on their videos for you to have money. If you're scaring away all your people because all the changes you're making are terrible, then that's bad for business. Now, all I hope is the higher-ups at Google see this and they just decide, you know what, we're just going to get rid of these developers and hire some more competent people. Because even trying to talk to, to the current you know, YouTube and Google developers at the moment, it's, it's just it's, there's no point. You know, it, they're, they're deaf. They're blind and deaf to anything. They will not acknowledge any user feedback at all. You know, they don't care about any user feedback. They just care about what they want to change in their agenda, and that's pretty much it. To me, that's just... It's ridiculous. They should listen to people more. And especially when the voices of people is starting to become really, really loud. As in, there's there are a crap ton of YouTubers doing it. Bigger YouTubers, smaller YouTubers, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of people doing this. It doesn't take a very smart person or a very you know good person to know that this system is is flawed. I'm not saying it's bad exactly. I mean, I can appreciate the idea of improvements, and I can appreciate that they've tried to improve it as best as they could. What I can't appreciate at the moment is that they've done a terrible job at it. Improve the YouTube comments once and for all. Keep some of the changes, take some of the changes out. Don't force people to have Google+. And you didn't have to take that cube, I just did it just because. And uh, leave some of the comments as is. Uh, currently, there's no character limits of comment on, on YouTube. And the top comments are no longer the ones that will have more ratings, are the ones that Google decides that supposed to be good. It doesn't even matter if they've been replied the most, or if they are the best comments, it's just... Random. Anyways, guys, this has been the Gaming Blog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope I see you guys. I want your honest opinions on this, and uh, I suppose thank you for watching. Peace.